Is DSEQ better than Sooth 2? DSEQ bills itself as a dynamic spectral equalizer, which puts it in the same league as Sooth 2, Baby Audio Smooth Operator, Smart EQ 3, and other spectral balancing plugins. So let's jump right into a quick demo. But first, please like and subscribe and watch to the end of the video for my conclusion. DSEQ has a ton of features, but the first thing you need to know is that you can load a starter preset and simply lower the threshold on the left and get results. I loaded up an awful demo I mixed way back in the year 2000 when I was starting out, and it's chock full of nasty resonant frequencies. I mean, just look at this waveform. Can you tell a 29-year-old got his first L2 that year? Let's load up the master balance preset and lower the threshold. That already sounds less harsh. I'm going to turn on auto gain compensation so we're not fooled by the difference in gain. So that just raised the level a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'm going to bypass. To my ears, this sounds much less harsh. If I was in a position where I had to deliver this poor mix to someone, I would feel better about sending it out after letting DSEQ do its thing. So as you can see, you can quickly insert DSEQ, select a preset, and get some usable results. Let's tweak it further. I'm going to switch this preset back from mid-side processing to stereo. So previously, this was acting on only the stereo content, leaving the mono content alone, which is an excellent mastering tool. But in this case, I think uh, because this is such a bad mix, um, I'm just going to let it run across the entire spectrum. Okay, I'm starting to hear some weird things when I turn it up. So the spectral balance sounds smoother, but it sounds um, a little ducking overall. Like you can hear the mix is pumping where the dynamic compression is cutting in. And I think this has got to do with the attack and release times. I'm going to increase these. And I'll go 86 on the release, see what this sounds like. So this is going to allow the compression to let some of the original signal through first before it clamps down. So this will hopefully have a more natural sound. So it's definitely pumping a bit more, but again, this mix and master is so bad that you're bound to hear some artifacts when you put some dynamic compression on it. Another simple parameter to adjust in DSEQ is the slope. This adjusts the priority of the dynamic EQs. Higher values mean more high-end compression, and lower values mean more low-end compression. I'm going to lower this to let more of the natural high-end through. I think this release time is too slow. That sounds a bit better. Next we can turn up the selectivity so that the correction is more focused and doesn't affect neighboring bands as much. Well, that definitely sounds tighter. I'm not hearing the pumping as much. Symbols sound a little more natural. We could also turn down the threshold a little further than what sounds natural. So we get maximum balancing. 
Then use the mix knob to blend it back with the original signal. We can now balance the old and the new for a more natural sound. And bypass. I am using the demo so it'll cut out once in a while. I think that sounds pretty good for messing around for a few minutes. DSCQ is overflowing with features, and some I'll mention quickly are two types of automatic gain compensation, audition for EQ pre filters, delta button for hearing only the effect, up to four times oversampling, and seven levels of complexity for the FFT filters so you can get more detail. On top of that, there's a spectral AI that will scan the spectrum of your song and suggest settings. You can even save and load your own spectra if you want to reference a song for your master. Is DSEQ better than Soothe 2? I would say at less than half the price with the same and even some more features, it's a no-brainer. If it's not better, then it's at least a true competitor. Soothe 2 is the industry standard for a reason. It's easy to use, sounds great, and has advanced features for professionals, and it deserves its place at the top. But DSEQ has all those features as well, and a couple of extra tricks up its sleeve. The interface was a little intimidating at first, but a few minutes with the manual made it all pretty straightforward. This is certainly a challenger to Soothe 2, and many miles above Baby Audio Smooth Operator in terms of features, which I covered in a previous video that you can watch up above. TB Pro Audio DSEQ is a true hidden gem and warrants a serious look from any and all mix and mastering engineers out there. But at 79 euros, this is a real Soothe 2 killer. Be sure to check out my other Soothe 2 and plug-in review videos in these links. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Pale Blue Dot Studios.